friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my WW Instant Pot series. I have two absolutely fantastic, filling, satisfying, and most importantly, delicious and WW friendly recipes to share with you. If you are not one of the many owners of an Instant Pot and you're in the market, maybe these videos will persuade you to take the plunge and get yourself an Instant Pot. It makes for a fast, easy dinner with extremely easy cleanup. So if you wanna see the two recipes I have in store for you, then just keep watching. For tonight's dinner, we're gonna be making lightened up beef stroganoff. Who doesn't love beef stroganoff? We're just gonna make it light and WW friendly. So let me show you everything that is in tonight's dinner. So first you're going to need some pasta. I'm gonna be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Rotini. I love this pasta. It is half the point of regular pasta. So for two ounces, it is only three smart points versus five to six points for two ounces. So I love this pasta. In my opinion, it tastes better than regular pasta. It's not that much more expensive and it is so good and you can save yourself a lot of points. You can purchase this on nettrition.com. I do have a link down in the description box. Click the link, it'll take you directly to the website right to where you need to order the Fiber Gourmet. So we're gonna be doing the light rotini. You're also going to need a can of Campbell's Golden Mushroom Soup and beef consomme, some lean beef of your choice. I'm using just a chuck roast. I'm just going to slice it up and I'm going to remove all visible fat. You'll need quite a bit of spices. So we have some oregano and some thyme, some parsley, smoked paprika, and I'm gonna be using garlic powder because I am out of minced garlic until I go to Costco. Also, you'll need some flour, some Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, of course some salt and pepper, fat-free cream cheese, and fat-free sour cream. So let's get started on our beef stroganoff. So I'm gonna be making tonight's dinner in my Instant Pot. I forgot to mention that this is a WW Pound Dropper recipe. I love her blog, definitely check it out for Weight Watcher recipes. So I decided to go ahead and use my Instant Pot, but she also has a stove top method as well. So if you don't have an Instant Pot, no fear, you can still make tonight's dinner. So this is everything that I'm going to be adding to my Instant Pot. So first here, you'll see that I went ahead cut up, removed all the visible fat off of one pound of my beef. So that's the first thing that's going to go into my Instant Pot. And then from there, we are gonna add in a lot of our ingredients, the majority. So first here, I have some thyme. So I'm just going to sprinkle in just a little bit of thyme. Also, I'm gonna add in some oregano. And again, you know me, I do not measure my spices. I literally just kind of wing it. So I'm gonna add in some of that. I'm also going to add some of my smoked paprika. Sorry, it's a little blurry on the spices. I don't know why my camera has a rough time focusing on those. And then of course, I'm gonna be adding in my little bit of parsley flakes. So we'll add in some parsley. And then of course, my garlic powder. That is in place of minced garlic. We go through a lot of minced garlic, so I'm definitely buying it at Costco this next go around. I'm also going to add in some Dijon mustard, and it is about a tablespoon or so of Dijon mustard into this recipe. And then same goes with Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna add just about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of the Worcestershire sauce. And then we are also going to be adding in our soups. So first is the golden mushroom. Look at that, interesting. I've never bought this soup before. Like I said in my grocery haul, I only bought it because it specifically called for it for this recipe. And then I'm also going to add in my beef consomme, which I guess is just a little bit different, more robust version of beef broth. So beef consomme. And then I have one quarter cup of flour. And then the last two things I'm gonna add in are some salt and pepper. And we're gonna give this a nice big stir. So I've added all of my ingredients to my Instant Pot. Then you're going to come down to your dial and you're going to use the stew setting. So that's what I have here, meat 
do. So go ahead and hit that. And then we're going to set this from anywhere to 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at the 35 mark. We'll pop our lid on and I'll be back in a flash to show you what this looks like. Well, 35 minutes for me, but a flash for you. Once 35 minutes is up, you wanna naturally release until you can open the lid, which I just did. We're steamy, sorry, there you go. Look at how amazing that looks, you guys. It smells so good in here. So to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my package of my pasta, and then we need to cook that on high pressure for only three minutes. So you're gonna go back down here to your Instant Pot, you're gonna hit the manual, and you're gonna knock it down to only three minutes. And again, we are going to pressure release until our lid comes off as well to make sure that our pasta is cooked all the way through. So I'll be back to show you once the pasta's done. So I just took the pot, or the lid off our Instant Pot. Look at that, you guys, that meat and that pasta. Oh my, here we go again. I'm telling you, it smells delicious. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and add in our fat-free sour cream. You can also use non-fat Greek yogurt. It will not affect the points. And then I'm also going to toss in just my two ounces of cream cheese. And we're gonna give that a stir. You can go ahead and come back down here to your Instant Pot and you can toss it onto saute just while you're doing the cream cheese and the sour cream. And you kinda wanna break up your meat as well. Get everything nice and combined so that you have a nice thick sauce. So there is our completed beef stroganoff, you guys. You cannot even imagine how delicious this smells. So what I will typically do to determine an appropriate serving size is I will just weigh out the entire batch of my meal. So this particular batch is 1,967 grams. And to that, I'm going to divide it into six. So I wanna have about six servings out of this batch. So I'll just weigh out my serving size. So I'll be doing that and then I'm gonna pair that with some of these Riviera Blend flavor pack veggies. These are so good, I love, love, love these. They're done, microwave just went off. And I will be back to plate up my dinner and show you exactly what it looks like and give you the smart point. So here is my completed dinner. I am so excited. So this is one sixth of the stroganoff. So look, there's a ton left. I went ahead and measured out about 327 grams, which is one sixth on my food scale. I topped it with just a little bit of parsley and look at that creaminess, that meat. Oh my gosh, it is so good, I tried it. Amazing. And then a side of veggies with some spray butter, salt, and pepper. So one sixth of the stroganoff is only seven smart points. So check out WW Pound Dropper. Make this recipe. You will not be sorry. It is family friendly. It is comfort food. It is creamy and delicious. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we are making country captain chicken. This sounds so good. And we're just going to pair that with some rice. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first you're going to need some chicken broth, brown sugar or brown sugar substitute. I'm gonna use sucre and gold, minced garlic, chicken. We're gonna need quite a few spices. The recipe calls for curry. I do not have any curry, so I'm gonna sub the Asian Zing from Dax. I love this seasoning so much. It is so incredibly delicious. Dax seasonings are great. They have zero salt, so they're great right before weigh-in. They're all full of natural ingredients, whole ingredients, nothing artificial. They really truly are the best seasonings on the market. You can buy these off of Dax website. They have over 20 different seasonings. If you use my code here on the screen, you'll get 10% off and free shipping. There are so many great flavors. If you wanna know my recommendations, leave that down in the comments below, or just send me a message and I'll let you know. But I love Dax and I love the Asian Zing. It is so good. I'll tell you guys kind of what's in this particular one. So spices, sesame seeds, garlic, black pepper, paprika, and that's it. So that's all that's in this and it is delish. So we're gonna add some of that. We also are going to add some thyme, ground ginger, cinnamon, diced tomatoes, raisins, I know that sounds weird, but bear with me, a red pepper and an onion. And then I'm also going to cook some jasmine rice and we're just gonna have some rice on the side. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we're gonna do for tonight's dinner is we are going to spray our Instant Pot with some non-stick cooking spray. 
To that, we are gonna go ahead and add our chopped up onions and our chopped up bell pepper. Now you can use any color of bell pepper that you would like. To this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in some garlic. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit of minced garlic. And then lastly, we are going to top this with our breasts of chicken. And then we're gonna make up a sauce that we're gonna put right over the top of our chicken and our veggies. Most importantly, spray your Instant Pot just so that none of those veggies stick. So let's get our sauce made. Now we're gonna make up some sauce to go on top of our chicken and veggies. So I'm gonna add one half of a cup of chicken broth to my bowl. And then to that, I'm going to add in just a little bit of cinnamon, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're also going to add one teaspoon of ground ginger. You can also use a ginger paste or fresh ginger if you would rather, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the ground ginger. And then we're also going to add in some thyme. We want about a teaspoon of thyme and one tablespoon of the brown sugar alternative, which is the sucrin. And then lastly, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of Dax Asian Zing, and that's going to substitute for the curry in the recipe. Then you're just going to whisk together all of your ingredients, and we'll be ready to add this to our chicken and our vegetables. We are ready to add our sauce to our Instant Pot. So that's the next step, is to go ahead and add in our sauce. So here it is. We're just gonna go ahead and pour it over the top of our chicken. And then the last two things that we are going to add is our can of diced tomatoes and one quarter cup of raisins. And we're just gonna give this a quick mix and then we'll put the lid on it. We're gonna cook this on high pressure for about six minutes. I just pulled the lid off the Instant Pot. You guys, this looks amazing. Whew, we're gonna get foggy. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and dish this up with half of a cup of the jasmine rice, and I'll show you guys what the completed meal looks like and give you the smart points. But let me just tell you, this smells so good. So here is the completed dinner, you guys. This is a large dinner plate. This looks amazing. So you can see here I have half of a cup of my jasmine rice. I have one breast of chicken, and I just put some of the raisin, vegetable, tomato, and sauce mixture over the top. This looks so good and it is smelling really good. Cinnamony, spicy, yum. So this entire dinner is one smart point for the chicken and then three smart points for the rice. So this entire plate of dinner, four smart points. A definite must make Instant Pot recipe. Thank you for joining me in another video and two more amazing Instant Pot recipes. I hope you enjoyed the two recipes that I shared with you. The recipes and any modifications I made will be down in the description box below, as well as all of the links and discount codes that I have to offer. As always, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, there is a link down there for that as well. Come on over, join the fun. We have a fantastic group of almost 8,000 amazing ladies and men in our Facebook group. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love it if you would take a moment and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. You don't wanna miss a single one. Thumbs up this one, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of these two Instant Pot recipes. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.